Our gospel for this Wednesday of Holy Week calls us back to that time and place where Jesus had his last supper with his disciples. No doubt, they had eaten together many times before, but there was something different about that night, their last night, their last supper together. Jesus' heart was laden with sadness. Tension filled the air. They probably ate and drank mechanically that night. Then part of the way through the meal, Jesus said, one of you is about to betray me. Can you imagine how the disciples felt after hearing that from Jesus? It was almost as if a bomb had been dropped on them. That pronouncement was something that none of them were prepared to hear. The disciples in shock asked Jesus one by one, is it I, Lord? This now was not a game. It was real life. It was their Lord and Master's life. They were actually searching their hearts and souls in response to his question, and their response is that I, Lord. Judas walked with Jesus for three years and in the end sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Peter was one of his devoted followers and in less than 24 hours denied that he ever knew him. They all asked, is it I, Lord? Hidden deep within each of us is the ability to betray that which is sacred and holy. Cowardice and avarice and deception are at times our motives in response to events that occur in our lives. During the season of Lent, we each had the opportunity to ponder the real questions of life and their meaning. We all had the opportunity to be honest and open with our God and ourselves. If we are going to do business with God, honesty is the only way possible. It is not always the easiest, but it is always the best. As we stand at the foot of the cross, let us examine our hearts and try to face the truth of what we find within them.